All right, families left homeless in New Jersey. Take a look at these images from Stephen Crane Housing Complex in Newark. Firefighters and police spending the night trying to understand what ignited the flames that forced the building to collapse. Neighbors saying they heard loud noises before the structure came down, that they'd been smelling gas for days, but still so much unknown at this hour. Our Kieran Dillon live with what investigators have learned so far this morning. Kieran. Hi, good morning, Kirsten and John. Well, we are here at South Pine Lane in Newark, and I want to give you a look right off the bat because this is just still remains an incredible scene. Uh, the images we're looking at right now, this apartment building, you know, part of it is completely demolished. The force of the blast uh, so strong that part of the roof exploded and glass from windows is actually in the parking lot. That's how strong that force of that blast was. I can I were really glass is shattered all over this parking lot along with splintered wood. Now, here's the latest this morning. Officials are only calling this a structural fire and building collapse, but they've not confirmed this was caused by a gas explosion. The whole building shook. It was such an intensity that I thought a car crashed into the house next door. That's the powerful it was. An apartment building leveled in Newark after an explosion and building collapse. Residents nearby say they heard a loud boom around at six last night, one so loud it shook nearby homes. My son was outside working, pulling stuff in, and he's yeah, a, a building exploded. Yeah, I, I ran out of the boom. store. Yeah. The I seen a guy. I seen a guy climbing down the building, and the owner of the store went over. He said there was a lot of people on the ground. It was just horrible. Six people were injured, one seriously. That person has been taken to the hospital and is in the burn unit. Thirteen families have been forced from their homes. New York officials are not calling this a gas explosion. They're investigating the whole area to make sure there's no gas leak. They've got gas monitors out there to, to ensure the safety of the public. And we'll, we'll let you know further on once the investigation concludes. So last night at a press conference, uh, we did ask uh, the New York Housing Authority if there were any reports from residents of a gas smell, because we'd been hearing that from residents. He said there were no re no reports of um, any gas smell. So right now, uh, police are not confirming, PSE&G, any officials are not confirming this is a gas leak, but they do say they called in PSE&G to the scene to shut off the gas and monitor for potential gas leaks. So right now, uh, this is really just a developing story, right? That big question is what caused this uh, explosion? and this building collapse as we get more details. Of course, you guys, we'll bring them to you. But for now, that is the latest from New York, New Jersey. Karen Dillon, Pix11 News.